Hey guys, Roberto here for the Expeditioners. I'm coming to you from Peyton Lake in Banff National Park, Canada, uh, Alberta. I'm currently on the lookout, one of the lookout points. There's a platform that's just a bit higher up from here, but that tra there's another little trail that leads you to this spot where you can get a shot without having the crowds in your way. Anyways, today I'm, uh, I'm reviewing the, the Goal Zero Switch 10 USB multi-tool kit. This one's not out on the market yet, but it will be out soon. So what you got here is is solar power and this is what Goal Zero is all about. You have a Nomad 7 uh, uh, solar panel in here, you've got a uh, Switch 10 USB multi-tool, you've got a fan, you've got a micro USB charging cable and you've got a flashlight tool. So you guys are going to be the first ones to check it out. So let's open this up. You have, as I was saying, the Switch 10, this basically what you can do is you can charge this up with your solar panel that's behind here. Um, then you can charge up your phone from it, plug a different head which is the flashlight head. You can plug your micro USB to charge those, those types of items and you can plug your fan which is this piece attached with this. So let's see what we would do in this situation to get some juice. So here is, now Goal Zero is a really incredible company. Um, not only do they create awesome products for, uh, for awesome adventures, but they also do it for people that are in need. So they, they recently put solar panels on the roofs of um, people that don't have money in the Navajo region. They've helped out with Haiti. They've helped up with lots of different disasters and uh, really a, an incredible company. So what we've got here with the solar uh, phone charger, the 10 U uh, Switch 10, is a, a Nomad 7 little double solar panel. Always point your, your panel at the right angle to the sun. You want to have as much sun hitting the panels as possible. On the back part you've got a, a piece that zips open. Here you can plug in um, your... I'll show you. Here is where I would... I can plug in my my switch multi-tool multi-USB charger right into... Doo -doo -doo the USB port here. Then you'll see these blue little lights start to go here once the once the, the panel has some power and that basically starts to tell you that it's charging. When, it, when you've got all uh, four blue lights fully powered then you know your tool is powered up. So one way to charge it up is just with your panel. A second way to charge it up is by plugging it into the wall into the USB. You can then remove this USB head by going, actually not remove, it's got a new piece from the, the old switch. You take your flashlight head, plug it into here, you've got this really neat twist adapter here, and voila, you have your flashlight. Turn it off, turn this way, and this is off. You've also got a tiny little flashlight on the Switch 10, which is great for when you're looking for stuff. We all know a little light can be super, super helpful. It's a tiny LED there, but gives up a good, a good juice of light. Then I can also take my little, whoop, little fan here, which is basically that end piece for those very hot locations. And you have your fan for the really hot days. Not needed on the top of mountains, but good in very tropical locations or in a hot tent. Put that back over here. And finally, let's not forget our micro USB, which goes in here plugs into this, take that end, plug it into your phone, and voila, she's charging. You can also plug your GoPro, power those up off of this as well. Um, very efficient. And that, folks, is Goal Zero's Switch 10 um, multi-tool, uh, multi-tool, sorry, uh, yeah, multi USB multi-tool, and uh, really, really great to have in your wallet, purse, backpack, give your battery, give your phone a charge, or boost your iPad, or do any of what I've just showed you. So check out more at GoalZero.com. You can always see us, us using them on our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram. 
It's the Goal Zero Switch 10 uh, multi-tool kit. I think it's going to be about 169 or so, but don't take my word for that. And uh, that's Roberto for the Expeditioners coming to you from Peyton Lake, Banff National Park. See you next time.